multivariant COVID-19 vaccine booster shows promise. With two SARS-CoV-2 variants battling for dominance, the world sorely needs a multivariant solution or one approach that can fight several variants. While we don't have one yet, a team of scientists revealed the early trial results of its multivariant COVID-19 vaccine booster. Not only could it boost antibody response, but it could also bolster T-cell response. The vaccine has been developed by U.S.-based biotechnology company Gritstone in collaboration with the University of Manchester and Manchester University NHS Foundation Trust. The compound is a self-amplifying mRNA second-generation SARS-CoV-2 vaccine, some RNA for short. Unlike existing vaccines, this one targets both the spike and non-spike proteins of the coronavirus. The first trial had 20 people aged 60 and over. These individuals were in good health and already received two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Remember, the new SAM RNA is a booster shot designed to combat multiple strains of the COVID-19 virus. Just a single dose of 10 micrograms of the vaccine demonstrated two promising effects. First, the T-cell responses across several non-spike areas hinted potential for variant-proof immunity. Since T-cells work differently from antibodies, they could easily fight off any variant. Second, the boost on T-cell responses would likely increase the prowess of antibody responses. The result would be a broader ability to combat COVID-19, regardless of variant. T-cells are critical players in fighting infections. However, antibodies are far easier to tame in vaccine research. Many are concerned about what may happen if these cells have been uplifted to fight the coronavirus. Antibody-based vaccines are quicker to develop, but they are at risk of mutations. These mutations can make or break vaccines. Meanwhile, vaccines that empower T-cells can easily get around mutations. T-cells simply rely on signals produced by infected cells. Plus, T-cell immunity is not expected to wane, which is vital for older adults. In terms of safety, scientists said that the vaccine booster was well tolerated by participants. No severe adverse effects or unexpected safety events were determined. Because of the results, the product is now entering a new trial with more participants, 120 this time. It is increasingly apparent that a focus on T-cell immunity is an important way to generate the robust and durable immunity that may prevent future SARS-CoV-2 variants from causing severe disease, hospitalization, and death, said Professor Andrew Ustianowski. The experimental vaccine booster appears to have many edges. It can yield both antibody and cellular responses against COVID-19 at a very small dose. The dose is up to 10 times lower than first-generation vaccines. The low dose also means low chances of side effects. What do you think about this new vaccine booster? Do you believe that second-generation vaccines can fight multiple variants at once? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.